Hi, this is Steve Jacobs with Apps for Android. In this video, I'm going to describe what we're doing with tactile screen protectors with the support of Google to make Android virtual keyboards fully accessible to individuals who are blind. What you're looking at is an Android Nexus One smartphone with Android's standard virtual keyboard being displayed. Because this keyboard is being displayed on a touch screen and can't be felt by touching it, it is not accessible to individuals who are blind. Before we proceed, a little background information is in order and I'd like to show you something. Over the past year, we have been manufacturing tactile virtual keyboard screen protectors. You're looking at two of them. The one on the right is black. It is clearly visible. We produced this one for the purpose of making this video. The one on the left is transparent, like all other screen protectors, and you can't see it. Let's see if I can adjust the light to cast a shadow on it so that it becomes visible. These screen protectors are designed, as their name suggests, to add tactility to on-screen keyboards. Our screen protectors are different than the ones currently on the market. We manufacture them using a special formulation of polyvinyl chloride to which a large amount of plasticizer has been added. When our screen protectors are applied to clean, smooth surfaces, they adhere firmly without the need for an adhesive. They use static electricity to hold them to the surface of a touchscreen. Because no adhesives are used, applying and readjusting them is easy. They can also be removed and reapplied a large number of times without leaving behind any type of residue. This makes them less costly and much more durable than the screen protectors on the market today. Our beta testers love the feel of our tactile keyboard screen protectors. Unfortunately, there was a major problem that prevented them from using our screen protectors productively. I'm now going to show you the problem using the Nexus One with the black tactile keyboard screen protector affixed to the touch screen. Notice what happens to the alignment of the second row of keys when I access the number keys. An extra key is inserted into the row causing all of the other keys to shift positions. This pushes them out of alignment with the holes cut in the screen protector. At this year's Google I.O. Developers Conference, we brought this issue to the attention of Google's accessibility engineers. They understood the problem and wasted no time in fixing it. Within 30 days of our requesting Google to look at this, they released an updated version of TalkBack, including a redesigned virtual talking keyboard that has a consistent layout. Let's see what that looks like. Here's the new TalkBack keyboard. Let's see what happens when I access the numbers. Symbols on. Nothing. The keyboard layout remains consistent. In addition, the virtual keyboard has the same tactility as a physical keyboard when using our screen protector. Actually, it's more tactile and it talks. And the new TalkBack keyboard no longer renders our screen protector useless. I'm now going to remove the black screen protector 
and apply the transparent one so you can see how it looks. Here's the new TalkBack keyboard with the transparent tactile keyboard screen protector applied. Can you see it? Probably not unless you look real close. I tried adjusting the lighting so that it casts a shadow over the screen protector. It's still very hard to see. Notice that it does not interfere at all with the standard touch screen. Well, there you have it. A great new tactile virtual keyboard for any Android device. I hope you've enjoyed this demo and I thank you for your time. Mm -hmm.